how do threads work in a web server? Consider a web server, all right, like this. Don't you love my fancy handwriting? It's a work of art. All right, so let's say I have a web server and um, a request comes in. What does a web server do? It has to process the request. It has to get back a response, right? So what it does is it spins up a thread to handle it. There is something that needs to execute on the web server, right? So it has to run something, it has to process something. So the web server says, you know, let's say Tomcat, right? So Tomcat says, hey, I need to create a thread to handle this request, it creates a thread and it's executing and it's doing something. Once it's done with its execution, it returns a response and the thread goes away, freed up, right? You get another request, get another thread that spawns, does the work for that request, returns a response, and then the thread goes away, right? This is the, this is the typical flow. This is what happens with a web server when a request comes in, a thread gets created. Now, what happens when a request comes in and a thread is created, but the thread is taking a while to process, and by the time the thread is done, right, even before the thread is done, there's another request that comes in. Guess what happens? Another thread gets created. All right. Now a third request comes in and none of these threads have, are done yet. You see where this is going, right? The more requests come in, as long as the thread does its job and returns the response back and it gets freed up, everything is cool, right? If the requests come in at a faster rate than the thread gets fulfilled and the request gets fulfilled and the thread gets removed, now we have a bunch of threads that are waiting, right? Soon what ends up happening is your resources get consumed. Your, uh, up your Tomcat server, whatever, you have like a, a maximum number of threads that is allowed. You configure it, maximum number of concurrent threads. Uh, if you don't configure it, you're gonna crash the system because it's gonna cre continue creating threads and you're gonna run out of hardware resources. So you say, okay, I'm gonna allow only these many threads. So now what happens? As the requests come in, and let's say the threads are not being freed up, the thread gets kind of consumes all the resources that are available. You hit the maximum thread count and you cannot do anything else, all right? This is how things work with a web server. This is where things slow down with a web server. When you have too many requests coming in and the threads are not being cleared out quickly enough, all right? Now, let's look at it in the context of microservices. Now, let's say this is your uh, kind of like um, a microservice which calls other microservices, right? There's a request comes in. This is a web server for a microservice that calls microservice A and microservice B, okay? Request comes in for microservice B. There's a thread that gets created. A, a call goes out for microservice B, right? This request goes out and it says, okay, I'm waiting for microservice B, but microservice B is slow, okay? It's taking a while, something is wrong with it. So this thread is waiting. Another request comes in. Another thread gets created. This too happens to be for microservice B. So this guy is waiting. The request comes in for microservice A. Microservice A returns very fast. So this thread gets returned, goes away. Another request comes in for microservice B. That doesn't get cleared. So that stays. So as long as this thread, uh, number of concurrent threads is not reached the limit, when a request for A comes in, it gets fulfilled and it goes away. But when something comes for B, since B is slow, it stays here, it stays as an active thread. And soon what ends up happening is more requests come in for B and then the number of threads exceeds the maximum limit. And now when a request comes for A after that, well, guess what? It has to wait for a thread to be freed. So people who are looking for APIs, which rely on A, even though A is fast, a call coming to this microservice to access A ends up becoming slow because it's waiting for all these other guys to be cleared. All right, does this make sense? This is the problem that's happening. This is the problem that's happening with our scenario that we saw. We saw the movie catalog service have two calls going out, one for the movie info service and one for the ratings data service. Let's see the movie info service path is what's taking time. But the ratings data service, as long as there is available threads in the, in a, in the, in the uh, server, calls to the ratings data service is gonna be fast. But if the movie info service fills up all the threads, 
then the ratings data service, even though the, the service, the target service is fast, your microservice that's calling it, it has to wait for these threads to be freed up. And so the consumer, the end user, is gonna feel that calls to A is also slow. Calls to the rating data service is also slow.